One of the questions that I get most from English language learners is, why is it that native English speakers are able to be lazy with their English, and yet I'm supposed to learn English seriously? Right? If I hear a native English speaker say, I'm a, I'm a do that, I'm a do that. Why can't I just directly do that? Just start saying exactly as a native English speaker says. Why do I get corrected if I do something wrong, but when a native English speaker writes something incorrectly, either it's a typo or a deliberate incorrect thing, like a, a strange abbreviation, why is it that I can't just do that? Well, the answer is you can, but there is something different between the native speaker and yourself. And I think it's very important to focus on that for a second. Okay. There are a couple of quotes that I really like, and I want to share them with you and then talk about how they relate to this concept called the mountain. Okay. And this is a very important concept, a very important idea that I think everyone needs to realize when it comes to learning a language. The quote is, the quotes are, I'll, I'll read them both. Learn the rules like a pro so that you can break them like an artist. This is Pablo Picasso. Learn the rules like a pro so that you can break them like an artist. The other one is by the Dalai Lama, which is know the rules well so that you can break them effectively. Basically the same thing. Now let's take that quote by Pablo Picasso. Picasso, a very famous artist, developed a style, a very unique style of painting called Cubism. And if you look at Cubist art, it's crazy. Crazy shapes. Things are all messed up. People's faces, people's noses are over there and their ears are over there. It's crazy. But somehow it works and it really revolutionized many aspects of modern art. Now, why is Picasso saying this? Learn the rules like a pro so that you can break them like an artist. Well, if you know anything about Picasso, you know that he had another period of time in his art career called, I believe it's called the Blue Period. And in the Blue Period, his, his work is much more, let's say, normal, right? Much more like an artist, an actual painter, Right. So what does that show? That shows that Picasso has mastered the fundamentals of color, composition, all of the things that you need, I don't even know, to be a good painter. And then has decided, now I'm going to develop a completely new idea with all of my knowledge and revolutionize art. Now that's what he did. This is true in many areas, not only for art, it's true in many areas. Rarely do you see someone who doesn't know what they're doing do something crazy and new and then revolutionize something. It's usually someone who's really good at it and then they're so good that they can take the next step and make some innovation or do something new or crazy or different. This is the same idea when it comes to mastering a language, this is the same idea. This is this is why when people say, oh, why don't I just say I'm a do that? This is why I say, no, don't just say I'm a do that. You need to you need to first feel very comfortable saying I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that or I will do that. And then once you feel or once you know that you know how to do that really well, then go ahead and do whatever you want. So. Why are we talking about a mountain then? So the idea of the mountain is that on one side of the mountain, you have this rocky terrain, boulders and roots and trees and everything in the way. It's a jungle. You have to hack through it, right? But on the other side of the mountain, there is a water slide that goes all the way down into a perfect, beautiful lake, okay? Now, a native speaker of any language really gets this kind of for free. You'll, you learn that as your first language. It's automatic because you learn it as a child 
it's a lot easier to learn and you don't even think about learning it. It's kind of automatic. Everybody experiences that with their first language. So you're kind of born close to the top of the mountain, or we could say that you go up the mountain very quickly, kind of automatically. And then you slide down the water slide, which is relaxing, which is doing whatever you want, which is breaking the rules, which is uh, not saying things correctly, which is using slang whenever you want to use slang, which is writing sentences that only have one word, which is whatever you want to do, basically. And when someone says, hey, you can't do that, well, what's the situation? You can't do that because maybe on this job application you made a mistake. Yeah, okay, maybe. But you can't do that to, I want to express myself this way, doesn't work. I, I know the rule. I know, I, I know how to make a sentence. I know the right way, but I don't want to. I want to say it a different way. I know the rules, but I choose to break them. Is different then. I don't know the rules. I can barely make a sentence, and so I'm just going to do whatever I want. People can tell the difference. So that's why you have to first climb the mountain. You have to climb the mountain before you can slide down the other side. And I know people who have reached that level of English mastery, non-native English speakers who have reached that level so that when they go down the other side and they use things casually and they, they are careless with their language, I can tell that they're doing so intentionally for the sake of communicating in a certain way or giving a certain feeling. And I can tell that they're not doing that because they just don't know. I can tell. I don't know exactly how I can tell, but I can tell. And I can also tell when people make all kinds of mistakes and say, well, it, it doesn't really matter. I can tell that that's there because you're not fluent in English enough to know what the right way is or to be able to do it, right? I can do it, but I choose not to is much better than I can't do it, right? So what you need to do is face the fact that you're on your way up the mountain, keep climbing the mountain, slash away the trees with your machete, have your your walking stick, climb up, struggle, and all of these struggles will get you to a point of developing the right language habits, becoming fluent, knowing how to write, doing everything correctly, perfectly. You need to master it. Then, once you feel that you're really there, I know how to do everything. I know how to write a really good, perfect email, resume, text message if I want to. I know how to speak in front of others and use tenses correctly and grammar correctly. But I, I now choose to sometimes be lazy because I, I, know, I know the right way, right? That is totally, I think, acceptable. Slide down the water slide into the lake on the other side by all means. But until then, you're probably not doing yourself any favors by stopping saying you know what this is good enough eh, it's okay you got to keep pushing got to keep climbing so hopefully that makes sense and uh, if you want to share your journey your stage where you are what you're struggling with please do so in the comments also if you haven't already make sure you check out my courses in the links in the description and also if you haven't already make sure you hit the like button make sure you subscribe or follow the channel as well.